good morning. It's actually almost noon, but um, I've been working. So uh, it's checkout time, so I'm gonna head to the lobby to do some more work. My flight's not till seven something. Southwest doesn't let you check in to the airport until four hours before, so I'll be downstairs in the lobby for a couple hours. Um, I had my lunch delivered via DoorDash because I had a bunch of phone calls this morning, so I am. I had a breakfast lunch, and then I guess when I get to the airport, I'll do a lunch dinner, and yeah, the Wi-Fi is back, which is super helpful, so I have plenty to do for the next couple hours while I sit in the lobby, and that's about it. So I'll uh, show you where I make my makeshift desk in the lobby. They actually have really nice sitting areas at home too, so I will have some stuff to show you. I don't know if it's completely clear what I was showing you, but they have a lot of bridges here and they made them into like one structure that kind of looks like a transformer but it has all the bridges on it. So I ate some lunch dinner at Friday's. I showed you my uh, donut cheesecake. It is delicious. I mean, I've, this is only the second time I've had it, but I would get it again, it's so good. But I found a unused, deserted corner of this terminal, so I'm gonna knock out some more work that I wanted to do last night, and then just set myself up to be organized for next week because I'm on the road again so I'm just gonna sit here and get things done and there's some pretty bad weather in Orlando I saw something on my newsfeed um, on a Disney site that MCO which is Orlando's airport um, grounded or wasn't accepting people in because of the weather so I still have two hours before my flight's supposed to take out off and as anyone that lives in a state with unpredictable weather knows, stuff can change by the minute. So hopefully um, all is well right now. It's not delayed, so crossing my fingers. All right. Um, first of all, it's, this moving walkway is kind of weird because I don't know if you can tell, but it like raises. making sure my flight's not canceled. Anyways, not me. So, um, flight not delayed of yet. Boarding time is in 20 minutes, so I'm gonna head that way, because I really went to a deep, dark, forgotten corner of the airport. So, I'm going to be closer to my gate so I can hear any announcements that happen, and hopefully it's just a non-eventful night from here on out.
witnessing some crazy stuff, you guys. So as you can see, all those bags are from canceled flights out of Orlando today. Like, there's been some pretty crazy weather in the south and it's, all those were canceled luggage bags. So when it came to mine, the sign said to go to 14 and all these poor Southwest luggage people are completely overwhelmed. Um, and so no one knows what's going on. So then they go home over the intercom and tell my flight to go to 11. We're all standing there. <laughs> None of our bags are there. And then, uh, so then someone's like, I found them on 14. Well, of course that wasn't true. So uh, my whole flight was just wandering and it's just chaos because in between each, like, I don't know what to call it, conveyor belt, <laughs> there's bundles of suitcases from canceled flights labeled by airport. Anyway, so they make another announcement again after 45 minutes saying they're on 11, which of course they're not. So then somebody I had talked to found me and they're like, hey, they're actually on 12. Then they come over the speaker and say, some of them on are 11 and some are on 12. It's all good. I got my suitcase. That being said, I'm more crabby about how people were acting because there's, I was talking to someone that's been sitting around since 2 p.m. on a canceled flight and doesn't have their bags yet. So I feel like we got to get home and get our luggage and people are complaining like it's the worst thing in the world. Now, they could be a little bit more organized in the chaos, that would help, but we're all good now. But it's, it's crazy, I cannot wait to get out of here. There's crying kids, overtired parents. Get me out. Look who's home. Me. We are both sleepy. The last time they saw me, I was showing him the, the chaos of the airport. He's almost like, um, hello. We were sleeping. We have a gizmo. That's weird. And she's super cuddly. Yeah, she, I think she's cold. Yeah. But I'm excited to be home. And I'm excited to sleep. So, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, Alex, thanks for coming to the show.